Hello everyone, I'm Ash from PlayStation Access, and I'm here today to tell you all about The Falconeer. A title soaring onto PS4 and PS5 on August 5th this year, The Falconeer is a beautiful third-person aerial combat game that combines thrilling battles with charming exploration, putting you on the back of a great warbird and sending you out to chase the Great Ursi's horizons. This breathtaking title will be released as the Warrior Edition, meaning all updates and extras will come as standard, as well as including a whole new expansion packed full of content, Edge of the World. But what should you know about this beautiful game before you dive in? Let's take a look at five things you can expect from the Falconeer. To begin, I have already waxed lyrical about how pretty this game is, but I am dedicating point number one to it entirely. Developer Thomas Sala has crafted a personal style over the years that shines across the watery expanse of the Falconeer, with everything from misty settlements jutting from stone cliffs to flying steampunk contraptions lovingly brought to life. This is a game that encourages you to explore its unique, oceanic open world by tempting you with strange shapes in the distance and colourful creatures roaming the skies, making the distance between objectives as enjoyable as the missions themselves. For a world rife with conflict and battles between mounted dragons, warbirds, flying beetles and more, it sure is just nice to take a minute and look around for a while as well. Next, point number two, the Falconeer is a feat of unique storytelling. You don't so much as create a character as take control of one that already exists, constantly shifting through a stream of different people to gain perspectives from various factions. You can shuffle through and pick a face and a name, but one chapter you might be a coin-hungry mercenary, and the next a free agent imperial freelancer, a brave soldier of the people as a falconeer, or a relic-hunting mansa seeker. The drive of this game is to experience viewpoints from all across the land to create a bigger picture, meaning your loyalties and targets will shift in the very wind you fly on. It makes for a kind of omniscient playthrough, and serves as a strength for the Falconeer's distinctive style. Of course, no matter who you play as though, you're on the back of a glorious winged creature. Point number three serves to highlight the aerial combat that underpins the Falconeer, seamlessly blending frenetic dogfighting, or rather, bird fighting, in this vast fantasy land. Take down ships that sail across the great ocean, or shoot enemy flyers down into the water as you rule the skies, using jet streams and barrel rolls to mix up your flight paths. The game even lets you take control of storms to charge up electric bolts that you use on your mounted rifle, or mix and match ammo pots to create the perfect elemental nightmare you can rain down on your enemies. As much as most battles will be against other airborne enemies, there's always a chance you might find things lurking underneath the waves, too. And speaking of being in the depths, point number four is deep lore that runs thick and fast throughout the Falconeer, making for compelling storylines as each narrative thread is picked up. This might be an awe-inspiring game visually, but it is definitely one fraught with struggle. Different factions that inhabit islands and little landmass clusters out in the endless sea each seek to gain power over the others, with personal histories littered with conflict as the years have gone on. The Falconeer gives you insight into this world as each chapter unfolds, all tied together with a strange, hypnotic woman that encourages you to try again as someone new each time you die. There are so many questions about what it all means and where it will all go, all to be discovered as you take your falcon and get busy finding out for yourself. Lastly, point number five is a neat little mention of the immersive features the Falconeer champions throughout the game. Whilst everyone will be able to enjoy a 60fps experience, PS5 players can ramp the visuals up to 4K, as well as feel every shot land through bespoke feedback through the DualSense wireless controller. The power of the Falconeer is literally in your hands, both as the titular pilot and, you know, in the controller that's in your hands. So there are five things you need to know about the Falconeer, coming to PlayStation on August 5th. Are you excited to get on a giant fighting bird and shoot people out of the sky? Of course you are, but you can still tell us all about it in the comment section below. I've been Ash, and this has been PlayStation Access. Don't forget to subscribe for more lovely PlayStation goodness, and we'll see you again soon. Thanks for watching.